Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL Server training session with Learn at NoStar. In today's session, we are going to write a SQL query to find out the employees who have the closest salary to the average salary of the department. So let's get started. So we are going to be using the same employee table that we have used in our previous videos. It has simple columns like the employee ID, name, the department ID and the salary of each employee. So the first step that we're going to apply is to find out the average salary for each department. Now that should be very simple. So what we need to do is simply uh, let's select the department ID and the average salary so there is a function called avg for the average and the column for which or on which you want to calculate the average which is salary and let's call it average salary from employee and since we have to calculate it for each department it has to be grouped by the department id so let's run this part of the query and see what are the results that we are getting. So we had two departments, two and five, and we have got the average salary for each department. Now, the next step that we need to perform is to find out all those employees whose salary is closest to this figure that we have got over here. So for that, we are going to find out the difference of salary of each employee and the average salary that we have got over here. So if we take a look back at the employee table, we have the salaries for each employee. Now whatever is the average that we had just calculated, we are going to subtract the salary, each salary of the employee with the average salary and based on the difference, we are going to find out which is the closest. So the least amount of difference, any employee whose salary has the least amount of difference with the average salary is the one who has the closest salary. Okay, so now for this purpose, what we're going to do is then select the columns from the employee table. So I want to, let's say, see the name of the employee. And I also want to take a look at the salary of the employee. And then the next step that I'm going to perform is a rank function, which is again an aggregate function. It will calculate the rank or it will basically rank or order the differences in the salary of each employee with the average salary. So before going to the rank function, let's understand what kind of difference we are talking about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to perform an inner join first with this subquery that we just wrote. So we would, should be able to find the average salary for each department using this uh, subquery. Let's give it an alias again called average salary. Okay, and we are going to join it on employee.departmentid with the subquery department ID column. So now we should be able to get all the required columns, which is basically the average salary from the subquery and the other columns from the employee table. Now I'm going to perform a rank function. So rank over and then the clause that we need to use over here is partition by so we are calculating for each department so partition by department id and then i'm going to order by the difference that we are going to calculate so the difference that we're going to calculate okay let's write another query to see the difference so let's say we had the figure of average salaries let's run this query again so let's take this figure of 54285, okay? And what I'm going to do over here is uh, calculate the difference. So difference is simply going to be salary minus, let's take a constant value for now, okay? From employee table, okay? So I'm just going to show you 
the output from this query so if we calculate this do a simple subtraction and calculate the difference what we're going to get over here okay let's also put the salary column to make it more clear okay so if we do like this what we are seeing is that the difference is also in negative numbers now we do not obviously if you order the numbers order this difference now the numbers which are negative would be ordered uh, as the lowest numbers and the one which have a positive difference would be ordered as uh, higher numbers but that should that would not be correct because the difference even a positive lesser difference is what matters to us and that is what is the closest salary so what we need to do over here is use a function called absolute so if it will give us the absolute difference and then we should be able to order it correctly so this will be more clear when we use this function over here in our query so we are going to order by let's say salary minus the average salary that we have calculated in the subquery okay and let's call it the give it an alias of salary difference okay and we have all these tables that we are calculating it from and we have the name and the salary okay let's run this query first and see what we have got in the output now if you would note i have not yet used the absolute function over here just to point the difference out to you again so if we use this uh, query okay we got several errors first is the ambiguous column name department id because it is in the subquery it is also in the employee table so we have to define it properly so everywhere we have to point it to the table from which we are trying to draw that column and it also says invalid column average underscore salary because the column is called average underscore set okay so we had these two errors let's run this query again okay now so we have got this output now let's take a look okay let's also add the department id column and again since it is a part of the subquery as well we need to define it properly by including the table name so that is what we have done and let's also add the column average salary to make it more clear Okay, and now let's execute this query okay so now you can see let's analyze the result for department 2 we can see that the first rank in terms of the least difference with the average salary has been given to 35,000 okay and the difference over here is and let's include the difference as well so this is the definition or the formula for the difference that we have written over here and now let's execute this query okay so now let's see what is the uh, let's analyze the results for department 2 and the first rank has been given to the salary of 35,000 though the difference if you see is 19,285 and there are ones with a lesser difference which is 715 is the one which has the least uh, difference so that should have been the nearest or the closest salary so and we are quickly going to change it to absolute over here and that would give us the correct results okay now let's execute this again and now you will see that it has correctly uh, ranked the closest salary so the salary with the least difference so 55,000 is closest to the average salary of 54,285 and that is the closest salary now our problem statement was to find out the closest salary we have got rankings for all the columns so what we need to do here now is simply include this in a cte so you can say anything with salary difference as so give you can give any name to the cte okay this becomes your cte and then you just need to select so let's say we just want to select the employee name so 
store name maybe the salary from cell diff where cell diff equal to 1 so we just want the closest salary so we are putting it as equal to 1 okay so we have got an error message here that no column name was specified for column 5 or cell difference which basically means that here we need to provide an alias the difference that we calculated if you just run the query it is fine but when you are declaring it as part of the cde you have to give a alias to it so let's just say cell difference over here and now let's run this query We should be able to see the correct output. So for department two, there's one employee who has the closest salary. For department five, there are three employees having the same salary, which is closest to the average salary for that department. And that's why we have got three in the output. If you want only one to come, or if you want all the three to come, I mean, there are different ways. You can use the rank function or the row number function or the instance functions. Uh, we have done a previous video on the difference between those three functions. So you can take a look at that video to find out which function works best for you. But this is a way in which you can find out the closest uh, salary in a department if you want to find out the people like two closest salaries to the average uh, salary for the department you can just change your filter criteria here so now you want two employees with the closest salary to the average salary for of the department so maybe you can use a less than over here or less than equal to and then you can put two over here so now in this case you should be able to get two employees with nearest uh, salary in that uh, department so for department id 2 now we have three output because one this is the closest salary 55,000 and the next closest salary is 50,000 and two employees have that salary so that's why we have got all those three in the output so this is how uh, you can use these functions to find out the closest salary to the average salary in a department I hope that you found this video useful. If you did, then please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we will be posting many more videos soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Goodbye.